The voice of Sherry. ASEAN Dailies, first and foremost news from Southeast Asia. Hello, welcome to Drian ASEAN, the voice of discovery and sharing. So, Grace, do you know when it's Peanut Butter Day? Wait, people actually celebrate Peanut Butter Day, and when is it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. It's on twenty fourth of January. Oh my God! Do you love peanut butter? I love peanut butter. <laughs> I mean, I can eat with just with anything, by or it's just on. Wow, well, to me, the best is peanut butter and jelly with bacon bits and sliced bananas. Hmm, yummy! <laughs> You're making me hungry again. But you know, peanuts aren't just nuts. Really? <laughs> they are legumes. So it's technically inaccurate to call it nut butter. <laughs> it's usually referred to one anyway. Oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, on ASEAN Daily today, we will bring you daily updates and commentaries on issues and events that are impacting this region. I'm your host Arlene Tan and Grace Cho, and on this Friday, 19th of February 2016, we'll bring you the latest social, culture, and trends from Southeast Asia. Our top story today: Indonesia's President Joko Widodo met with Facebook founder CEO Mark Zuckerberg, and guess what? They ended up playing zero gravity ping pong. What? Really? Yeah. They actually played the game of ping pong in Oculus Virtual Reality. Seems pretty cool. Mark Zuckerberg even posted it on oh. his Facebook. Wow, this is not the first time they met, though. Mark hang out uh, with jo- Jokowi in Jakarta in 2014, and they even went to one of Jokowi's famous impromptu walkabout or uh, blue sukan, <laughs> blue sukan, <laughs> blue sukan <laughs> at Tanah Abang Market. Mm. And the thing is, uh, the reason why he met with Mark Zuckerberg recently because he is in US right now and spent his time meeting with tech industry. Leaders in Silicon Valley, he aims to bring Indonesia to the forefront of the digital economy. And not only that, he also took a trip to the Twitter headquarters, and his PR team documented the visit on the Periscope Live. Wow! Plus, he also had a chat with Google CEO Sundar Pichai, where Google pledged to train 100,000 Indonesia's next wave of mobile developers. So a couple of days earlier, Singapore Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong also had a great time with the Facebook CEO, Apple CEO Tim Cook, PayPal CEO, and also even tech a test ride the latest Google Tesla car. Oh my God, that's so cool, Tesla car! But the thing is, it's not just all business and technology. President Jokowi had has Facebook、uh, to join Indonesia's if- efforts to battle radicalism. He said he urged Facebook to spread the message of tolerance, moderations, and peace. Well, he's right there. The public really needs to use social media to spread counter narrative to the radicalism propaganda spread by terrorist group like ISIS. Yeah, and the great thing is, Jokowi left a short message on the Facebook signature wall entitled "Together We Peace in Harmony." And well, moving on to the next news in Singapore. Still on technology here, the Civil Aviation Authority of Singapore (CAAS) inks a 12-year deal with、uh, uh, Airion to use the automatic、uh, dependent surveillance broadcast, or call it ADS-B system, for surveillance coverage over the Singapore flight information region. So, what does that mean exactly? So. The Singapore,、uh, the nation will be using space surveillance to control air traffic. Wow, space surveillance! But what is the FIR or Flight Information Region? So FIR is a specified region of airspace located by the International Civil Aviation Organization, in which services such as flight information service and lodging service are they are provided there.、Mm, oh yes, and also it means that Singapore. 
will be the first air navigation uh, service provider in Asia Pacific to adopt the space based ADS B system. By the way, the deal was signed at the Singapore Air Show recently and will be operational in 2018. Huh. So, when it is implemented, space based ADS uh, B will provide a continuous surveillance of ADS B equipped aircraft in the Singapore FIR. It will supplement existing the sur- uh, surveillance sensors and improved air traffic controllers' situation awareness as well. Mm. Singapore is getting smarter and smarter <laughs> every day. Anyway, let's go back to our home turf in Malaysia. Do you watch football, Grace? Mm, sometimes. Why, yeah? Well, did you watch recently a goal made by a Malaysian footballer? The free kick was so insane. It went global. Ah, I watched. It is a knucklebox scored by the Penang Fai Subri. He scored an incredible free kick for his team 4-1 mm-hmm. win over Pahang in the Malaysia Super League. Yeah, and some say that his score was even better than the Roberto Carlos banana Whoa. kicks. <laughs> it was reported that uh, it was reported widely by international press, including news outlets in U- the US, Britain, and Australia. Nice. Well, with one swipe of his right boot, right, the forward hit the ball with such venom, and his sword left, seemingly going out before curving right and dipping into goal, leaving the goalkeeper <laughs> and everybody watching. It was so stunning. <laughs> I think it can be a <laughs> <Commemorator. sports> <laughs> I mean it was so good You're right that Even our Prime Minister Najib Razak Praised the goal mm. And he even got 10k Ringgit from wow. Penang government for the goal. Talking about easy money. Oh my god, yes. And also Faiz said he actually trained hard to curve the ball so narrow and that the goal could win the FIFA um, Puskas Award 2016 as a goal of the year. Wow, he's definitely the future of this person is very, very <laughs> bright. I mean... I'm personally proud of him. I think we all are. Hope that he could take Malaysian football to the next level. Let's go. That's all from our ASEAN Dailies today. Thank you for tuning in to Drian ASEAN with Grace Cho and Arlene Tan. For more updates on Southeast Asia, please go to our website at drianasean.com. If you're on the go, you can always download our tuning app on your mobile. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels at Durian ASEAN and Durian ASEAN TV. Don't forget to follow us on our Facebook page, Twitter and Instagram. We always welcome feedbacks from our listeners. Stay tuned with Durian ASEAN Daily by next week Monday. Same time at 12 to 1 p.m. on GMT Plus 8. Durian ASEAN, the voice of discovery and sharing.
You are now listening to Durian ASEAN, the voice of discovery and sharing.